politics, joining the Labour Party at age 17. She earned her bachelor's degree from the University of Koikata. After university, she served on the staff of Prime Minister Ellen Clark, then worked in the British Cabinet Office in London. And she volunteered at a soup kitchen in New York. She returned to New Zealand and, at age 28, she became a member of Parliament. that she auditioned for a role in the film version of The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Alas, without success. <laughs> but her political career encountered no such obstacles, and in 2017, at age 37, she became the 40th Prime Minister of New Zealand. <laughs> Becoming one of the youngest heads of government in the world, soon to emerge among the most widely admired. She was re-elected in 2020 to a second term. She serves concurrently as her nation's Associate Minister for Arts, Culture, and Heritage, Minister for Child Poverty Reduction, and Minister for National Security and Intelligence. She has stepped up her nation's efforts to confront climate change. She has been a clear and forceful voice for gender equity and economic opportunity. She has worked energetically to combat poverty among children. She led her nation's healing in the wake of the terrorist shootings at the Christchurch mosques, the worst massacre in modern New Zealand history. And in recent years, she has guided her country through the vicissitudes of the COVID pandemic. Through all of this and more, she has personified inclusive, energetic, pragmatic leadership, leading her nation with agility, compassion, and strength. I really rebelled against this idea that politics has to be a place full of ego, where you're constantly focused on scoring hits against each one another, she has said. Yes, we need a robust democracy, but you can be strong and you can be kind. We warmly welcome and we rightly honor the Right Honorable Jacinda Ardern.
She guides a proud nation with new zeal and vision. <laughs> Jacinda Cady, Laurel Parker, Doctor of Laws.